What's up dudes and doodles, and welcome back for another art-related video. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Danny. Don't forget to subscribe down below and leave a comment as well. Today, we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm currently in the process of doing some more work in the camper that I use as an art filming studio, so that is why there's no video intro this week. Hopefully I have things settled down and back up and running by the time I start filming next week's episode. But enough about that, let's talk about what's going on on your screen right now. I did forget to record the sketch portion of this video, so we're going to start just by jumping right into the digital redraw. I am using my Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, which is what I use for all my digital drawing. And the app I use is the Ibis Paint, which you can download from Google Play Store. I absolutely love this app because it's 100% free. There is a pro version, but by watching a 30 second video, you can unlock all pro features for 18 hours. And being an artist on a budget, this is right up my aisle. When doing digital sketching, I usually work in multiple line layers, so I redraw the same thing about two to three times before I get into the finished line work, which you'll see here shortly. So sit back, enjoy the show, and I will be back when I start coloring. And right here I decide to switch the drawing up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of the pistol and we're going to draw in a nice pride flag. Happy pride everybody! And right now I'm just blocking in all the base colors. 
uh, trying to make sure that there's no white showing through underneath and making a duplicate line drawing copy and putting that on top of the colors so that the lines show through better. And now it's time to go in and we're doing some shadows. Um, I believe I delete this section. Yeah, no. Yeah, I delete this section and I go back in with some dark gray, draw in all the, most of the shadows, and then I see how that looks by changing the uh, layer properties. And then I go back in, put it back to normal so that I can see where I'm doing the shadows because some of the colors don't show up very well. And then I end up going back in and I changing uh, adjust the colors so that the shadows show up better, like on the yellow and the blue. And after doing some highlights on the character and giving a little happy pride tattoo, it's now time to start the background. Um, I draw in some lines so that I can try and do a little bit of perspective, uh, throw in some dots. Didn't like how that was looking for gravel. Then I go back in with a watercolor brush and I just paint in like a little dirt path. And then I throw in some green underneath that. And then now I'm going to start shaving in uh, little blades of grass. Each one of these pieces of grass is done individually. So this took quite a while. So I'll set back and let's watch some more of this. Thank you. 
now that I'm done with all the grass, it's time to start the rest of the background. And at first I wanted to do like a nighttime sunset uh, using purple um, and still using that watercolor brush that I used on the gravel or the uh, dirt path. Um, just going in and cutting in some different shades of blues and purples and then blending them together. Then I changed that up and I've done lighter blues. Um, but let's see where this goes. And then we're just going to finish up some clouds here in the sky, add some detail in the background, like some shadows that could be either a mountain or some trees or bushes in the background. Uh, let's see, then I'm going to do a gradient, flip that around so it's darker towards the bottom, lighter towards the top. I'm also going to add a shadow down on the ground. And that should be about it for this drawing. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. What is your favorite part of Pride? And are you going this year since COVID is starting to go away? But I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave me a comment down below. And until next time, happy drawing! Doodles.